Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and this is our bonus video on uh, setting up an e-commerce website. So all of our work that we've done so far on these past videos uh, has been done on our own computer. If you go back to the first videos, remember we set up WAMP, which is a virtual web server, basically. It runs on your own computer and we're able to create a WordPress site and all of this great stuff that we did throughout the whole course was running on top of a virtual server. You'll notice our address on the web browser is uh, http colon slash slash localhost slash WordPress. Localhost means it's running on your own computer. And now if someone else tries to go to that address, they're not going to see your site. All the development that we've done has been on your home computer. Obviously, in the future, then, we would want to have http colon slash slash victorsbakery.com. But that requires that you have an account uh, with a service provider. So as our quick overview, I'm going to look at a few domain hosting providers. A big one is GoDaddy. They're at GoDaddy.com. Every company works just about the same. They've got different prices. Basically you go to a, uh, one of these companies and then search for the name that you want for your website. How about VictorsBakery.com? Sorry, VictorsBakery.com is already taken. So it depending on the company it might give me more options it says victorsbakery.co co is available and that's 12.99 per year victorsbakery.net is available victorsbakery.org.info victors-bakery.com is available victors patisserie is available so there's various names that are available let's say i like victorsbakery.co I can add that to my cart, and that's uh, $12.99 per year. You need to buy a yearly subscription to your domain name, basically. Now, in addition to a name, you need hosting, which is where will you upload your files to. So then GoDaddy has the hosting as well, and every company is similar, but uh, let's check out some hosting prices here. So GoDaddy has these tiers, Economy, Deluxe, and Ultimate. And so for Economy, that'll be $4.99 per month. So $5 per month, that's uh, 50 60 that's about $60. Plus the $12.99, $13 for the domain name. So you're looking at about uh, $80, $70 to $80 to have your website online per year. Um, and that's the price with GoDaddy. All of the details of what comes with your account are listed here. Let's look at some other examples. Another big name in this business is Bluehost. Bluehost.com. The best web hosting, only $4.95 a month. Okay, well, let's see, get started. You search for a domain. Again, Victor's Bakery is taken, but every company behaves a little bit differently. Here it'll tell us um, this is not available. So what about victorsbakery.org, victorsbakerycafe.com, the Victor's Bakery, my Victor's Bakery. Let's say I want victorsbakery. Net. So it's going to ask me to sign up and how much do things cost? Well, first it's saying uh, it's going to recommend 36 months at a time, so that'll be three years and that'll be $4.95 a month. Or you can go for the 12 month, one year for $6.95 per month. So you see prices are different and they'll want to sell you other stuff. Every company wants to upsell you a bit. Um, I recommend just go with the defaults. Uh, you don't have to get anything extra. So that's Bluehost. There's also oneandone.com. 
and they'll sell you uh, what you need for various prices as well. Uh, if any of these offer to sell you, uh, for example, create your own business website, uh, you probably do not want that. You just want the basics. So this is a this is a viable alternative. They're all viable alternatives. After you create an account, you'll want to log in, and all of these companies will basically have a one-click install WordPress button. You will not have to go through the whole process of downloading WAMP and setting up, you know, setting up your own database and all of that. You basically log into your provider and select the install WordPress, and then you'll get WordPress set up on your account with a with the name that you're looking for. So every provider has help files and tech support and they'll all walk you through the steps. But what we learned in this class was to create a WordPress site on our own computer, learn how to get around in it, add the shopping cart plugin and such. And the next step is up to you to then do the same thing but after you buy your service from GoDaddy.com, OneAndOne.com, Bluehost, etc. So that's up to you, and that's the next step to take your WordPress uh, e-commerce site from your desktop to the World Wide Web.